Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to share with you a review of the all new FLIR C5 infrared camera. So, yes, FLIR has finally come out with a small, pocket sized infrared camera with good resolution. This is something I have been waiting for for a long time. FLIR has come out with a bunch of other cameras. They first came out with the FLIR 1 where it connected to an iPhone 5 and you'd like kind of clip your phone into it and that was, that was super cool. Then they come out with some other cameras that would snap into the bottom of your phone and they were, they were tiny and they were inexpensive, but they weren't good. I, I, I mean, if you, if you dropped your phone, you would, you would destroy the port on your phone with this thing plugged in. So I wasn't a huge fan of those. There's no way I would ever consider those for home inspection work. And then FLIR came out with some cameras like this. They were basically the same size and shape. It's, it's not too different from a mobile phone. It's, you know, it's a little bit wider. It's about the same length. It's, it's significantly thicker but still, you can put this in your pocket. FLIR came out with a couple of those, and the resolution on those was weak. I mean, it was like 80 by 80 or something like that. I don't remember off the top of my head. Whatever it was, I wouldn't even consider testing it. There's no way I would get one of those cameras for home inspection work. I have long said that the best camera for a home inspector is the FLIR E6. I said that because I think it's a great resolution. It's rugged, it's durable, it does everything we need. It has MX, MSX technology. I can't remember what that means and frankly, I don't care what it stands for. The bottom line is it's this cool technology they use on their infrared cameras where you take an infrared image and then you overlay all of the visual stuff within the frame that has high contrast lines. And it's like magic. I mean, it, it just makes the infrared image come to life. And all of a sudden it looks like you've got an incredible amount of detail and clarity throughout the image. When all you've really done is kind of overlaid a bunch of stuff that's already there. It doesn't give us any more information as home inspectors, unfortunately, but it is pleasing to look at. So let me show you an example of what I mean for MSX, MSX. It's tough to say for MSX technology. So here's two images side by side. One of these images is, has a resolution of 160 by 120. That's the one with over 19,000 pixels. And then the other one has a resolution of, I believe 80 by 60. Yeah, 80 by 60. That has a resolution of 4,800 pixels. And I added the MSX technology onto the low resolution image so you can really appreciate what it looks like. I mean, it actually looks like this is a better image with that MSX overlay. But now we remove the overlay and now we still have the same amount of thermal information. That's really what we're after here. That's why I use an infrared camera as a home inspector is to get that thermal information. And we remove that and all of a sudden, there's no comparison. I mean, the, the one with the lower resolution is just garbage. That's the actual information that we're receiving. So that's why it's so important to know the real resolution of the image you're getting. And if you're gonna compare a couple of cameras side by side, you need to do it without, with the MSX turned off because that's what we're actually going to be finding as home inspectors. So I, I just took a, dive down a different road I didn't mean to. I'm, the, the point here is the FLIR E6 has this technology, it has a good resolution, and the price point is right. This camera sells for about $2,000. That's the FLIR E6. They have one more camera in that line. It's called the FLIR E8, and it has twice the resolution, or I guess maybe you could say four times the resolution. It's in, instead of 160, it's 320. And so it, it seems as though it should produce way higher quality images, but 
I've done side-by-side -side tests with the E6 and the E8 and frankly I can barely tell the difference between the two. There is an improvement when you step up to the E8 but it doesn't justify the higher price tag. It's way more money for the E8. So I don't think you get the added value but when you step down to the E5 there is a noticeable difference and I, I don't like the quality of the E5. So I have settled on the E6 as the infrared camera for home inspectors. So what am I do why am I talking so much about a different camera when the point of it is I want to talk about the C5 because the E6 is the standard that I'm comparing to. Now I'll be honest, it's not the, the E6 is not the best camera out there. There are better infrared cameras. There's cameras with way better resolution, but I, I'm trying to balance cost versus performance. That's what's going to equal value. That's going to that's gonna tell me what the best camera is to outfit all of my home inspectors with. So that's why I've decided on the E6. But I'm, I'm setting the stage here because I think the C5 is a new winner. I think we have a new king when it comes to value for home inspectors. The beauty of this is that this has the same resolution as the FLIR E6. I'm having a tough time keeping these numbers and letters straight. I think I've got them all right so far. This has the same resolution as the E6. It's a 160 by 120 and it has a very similar field of view. The E6 has a 45 degree field of view. This has a 54 degree field of view. So it's similar. It is a little bit wider and it means that when you're looking at your images on here you're going to lose a little bit of clarity. To, to really see the same thing, you got to hold this camera a little bit closer. It, it is kind of nice because I can see more in the same frame as a home inspector, but you know, there, there's pros and cons there. But so it has the same image resolution, it has the same thermal sensitivity, which is a topic I'm not going to get into with this video, but I, I will touch on it real quickly. Thermal sensitivity matters. When you have a camera with really poor thermal sensitivity, you can take the same resolution, compare them side by side, and the one with the high sensitivity produces far superior thermal images. I mean, there's, there's no comparison between the two. So we want a good thermal sensitivity. This has the same as the E6. And the battery life, I don't know about. I have not used the camera long enough to know about it, but I have never had an infrared camera where I had to complain about the battery life. The battery life on every camera has always lasted me at least a full day of home inspections. And if it can do that, I'm satisfied. I'll charge it when I get home at night. So we have good image quality. We have good battery life. It's rugged, it's small. It also comes with a USB-C port, which I love. It, you know, it means that you can plug your cable in right side up or upside down. There is no right side up or upside down. It goes in any direction. That's very smart of them. And, you know, that's really all I can think of. I, I mean, I guess the last thing to talk about is the actual image quality. So I've got a bunch of images here. I'm going to scroll through these. We're comparing the C5 to my standard, the E6 in all these images here. And as you can tell, it, the images do look better in the E6. I, I don't think there's any question about that. Part of it is, like I said, it's a different field of view, so we do lose a little bit of clarity with the, with the C5. And I, I think there's something else here at play, but I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe it's just a different lens and it's not some type of standard that FLIR publishes. I'm not sure what it is. The, the images on the E6 are definitely superior, but on the other hand, they're not so much better that it would drive me away from the C5. And now here's the last thing. The C5 retails for $699. So for value, I think you get way better value with this camera. And I really do love the idea of being able to slip it into a pocket or a, you know, a front pocket here, or it's got this neat little, I don't know, loop, whatever you call that. So uh, you, you, you can hang it around your neck. You, you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing. So basically, I'm in love with this. Good job, FLIR, well done.
This is a nice camera. Probably the new standard for home inspectors. I did have one home inspector on my team try this out and he couldn't get used to it. He needed his E6 back, but I'm going to have some other people on my team try this out. I'll try to convince people to, to use this one because, boy, it sure is a lot more affordable. All right, that is my review of the C5. Thank you so much for watching.